Hey everyone, Mad Header here, and today I just wanted to show you guys what 1,000 days of free-to-play progress looks like. I'm going to be going through collection, heroes, everything. If you want to see a more elaborate, you know, video on how I got here, tips and tricks I did, things I did that, you know, some players might not be doing, then, you know, let this video hit 300 likes, right? I know it's a large number, but I believe you guys can do it. So, let's begin with the proof of 1,000 days, right? Otherwise, what would be the point of the video? Check attendance for 1,010 days. And I've checked it for 1002, so we haven't completed the mission yet. However, the reason I made, didn't make this video two days ago is because real life events happened. I have a screenshot, so if you guys want to see that, join the community discord, or I'll probably make it as a thumbnail. You'll see, right? However, I just didn't have time, so we're doing it now. So completely free to play, we are super casual because yeah, well, yes, I have the game knowledge. I have the ability to have gotten this account further than I did. I just didn't have the raw amount of time needed, right? I'd play, you know, 30 minutes, 40, 50, maybe occasionally an hour or 20 minutes a day. However, I just didn't have the time. I didn't have the motivation. And I play actually three other accounts. So, and with zero to here coming up, that's going to be like five. So it's going to be really tough. However, it has gotten to this point with sheer amount of time. Let's begin with, you know what? No, we're not beginning with heroes. We're beginning with collection. And as you can see where the free to play limitations start to kick in. However, once again, this game's stupidly free to play. So understand what I mean and don't just blatantly parrot it. The reason why I'm saying where the free to play limitations show is hero wise. I can't summon for every single hero, which is why you'll see I only have 94 out of 120 heroes. So I'm missing, you know, Eugene, I'm missing Olive, I'm missing Shun Li, I'm missing, I'm missing even Gabriel, right? So free to play luck doesn't always work out. So even when you're summoning for a character's banner, you might just not get them. And it is what it is. You're just going to have to move on. I'm missing Noxia, MK99, Beach Sohi, um, Shintilla, Eleanor, Carol, Pervati, per Priscilla, Era, uh, Android, uh, I forget her name, A99 or something. I forget her name. Summer Lorraine, LA72, Mad Panda Trio, Chrome. Yeah, I'm actually missing Chrome, which sucks. Valencia, Chriselle, Paimon, White Kid. I'm, not, I'm I'm happy I didn't get White Kid or LF. That's good. Shunryo, I'd really like to have for Raid. See, I'd love for Boss Rush and Kolo. Uh, Amaris would be really nice for my Mono Earth team because I can't use Andras outside of that now because I'm just missing Amaris. Beach Amy, Light Shapira, I don't care about those, but yeah. I'm missing quite a few heroes there. And you'll see that item collection wise, what I'm missing is just character EXs. So all of these are just character EXs that I'm just missing. And I can't really, all right, the only non-character collection that I'm missing is the Aegis Shield one and the Judge's Shield one. And I just haven't cared enough to farm for Judge's Shield or Aegis Shield. So yeah, that's one of the limitations of time you'll see. I just don't care enough to push myself for those. Arena Veteran, same thing. Half the times, you know, I don't even completely do my PvP or log in. So there's that. However, yeah, this is really where you can see how free to play and what the struggle is, right? I believe I've gotten actually lucky with EXs because I just don't play enough. So maybe if I 100% every content, I'm there for every single event, every single, you know, login, I probably would have had more completed collection. However, yeah, I'm definitely held back a bit there. So now let's begin on what characters I do have. You know what? No, we're, we're going to get to the characters later and how I've built them. Let's start with gear, actually. I have Ogma EX fully limit broken, Marina EX fully limit broken, and most of these are from days where, you know, where these characters were actually really meta. Ogma sword, I've just pulled enough dupes of to pretty much MLB, and it's, it's nice. Ogma's used everywhere, so MLBing it is good. And Marina, oh man, oh man, Bari and Marina days, yeah. Yeah, you'll see a lot of older EXs maxed because I just did it or I got enough dupes and I just decided to MLB it because I was too lazy. Root EX, I absolutely love Root. Great investment. Future Knight EX is a phenomenal investment here. I never regret it, even though she's not as meta as she used to be. In my opinion, she's still great. Root EX, of course, Mono Earth Gang as usual. Garam EX, absolutely love them. Water Raid Team staple. And like I've said, I am not caught up on Raid Team simply because over the, you know, the past year, so I haven't cared enough to invest time or effort into a full-blown raid team. So most of my teams are definitely comparatively outdated. However, I believe, you know, the last time I tested it, I can still output at least 600 to 700 million quite, quite comfortably. So no worries. And yeah, join the guild discord and join the discord. Join the guild if you haven't already. And Tinny 8 x is one of those where I just decided to MLB it. 
Uh, Claude, not Claude, Yunha EX. I believe I just took Claude's out recently for Yunha's. And Yunha's EX. I just don't have the limit breaking hammers to use get this up, nor you know the option chain stones. I do have quite a few option lock stones, so I guess I could use that, but just not really. And everyone's favorite, I mean, come on, it's Bari. She used to be so damn good. I still enjoy her kit quite much, so I don't regret this investment ever. Come LEX, would you expect, right? It's gonna be maxed out. Future Princess EX, gonna be maxed out. Eva is also one of those situations where I just went, sure, I've got enough, so let's just go with it. Three Captain Mirror Shields, Earth type attack. This only exists because I was lucky enough to just pull it, so I was like, sure, I might as well hold on to this. Uh, light one was actually for Future Princess, and then the basic one I've been just holding for, you know, God knows what, because I don't actively use Arena either, so yeah, I don't really care for that. Lilith EX, I mean, come on, it's, it's, it's Lilith, you know how I am with Lilith, of course that's going to be max limit broken, Meryl EX, of course, easy, uh, I do have quite a few mirror accessories, they're once again not really that great, for example, this piece, this is one I recently started to use, because I wanted to get into arena and stuff, and once again, Future Princess isn't that meta breaking in arena anymore, however, she's still pretty good, and once again, like I've said, I'm a freaking fossil in this game, so i do have a lot of older heroes built i'm gonna work on that later i just don't have enough options chain stones to warrant building it my uh <laughs> this is something i'm actually relatively proud of but once again i do have better pieces it's decent it's okay right uh basic one basic one's pretty damn good we're two percent off the uh, weapon skill regen max roll so once again a bit iffy however it's not bad my fire one however though is just top notch max fire attack max base defense max weapon school regen be pretty good skill damage roll so yeah <laughs> i mean got it on the wrong piece my um, mirror earth option i'm pretty satisfied with i mean i have the earth attack i have the base defense i have the weapon school regen speed weapon school regen speed doesn't matter as much here because i generally just use it off of uh, my off lead rue uh my minotaur's necklace is very beautiful uh, once again i don't have many of these because i just don't log in or play pvp enough and fun fact i actually never bothered to join a guild right i've barely been in guilds simply because well <laughs> you know what happens when you're not there for raid four to five days a week guess what you get kicked so i just didn't bother joining so a pretty decent source of my battle medals is actually just non-existent which is why i recommend you join a guild if you can so do that and the reason why the defense role isn't maxed out is because it doesn't matter i'm not using minotaurs for any defensive options anyways uh a fun little mad pender brooch that i only need one of and i stopped because there's a fun little surprise i want to show you guys later on in the video uh, I have my mirror water water uh, accessory. I have Veronica EX, almost fully limit broken, not fully. You'll also see that I don't have a lot of EXs leveled up simply because I don't have the gold to level them up from the level cap increase. So if they weren't fully limit broken, it's pretty annoying. But innocent, nice. Uh, Future Knights, um, I believe, melee sword, uh, Paimon, and blah, 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 blah. It's just stuff that I built up over time. But get ready for some fun things, okay? Ice Queen Ring. Now, this is one just beautiful piece. I absolutely love it, okay? And yeah, well, Ice Queen Ring isn't as good as Earth Necklace. In fact, I don't even think Earth Ice Queen Ring is that useful. But it's really nice to have, and hey, I'll probably use it to flex on people. And then the long-awaited Earth Necklace. Yeah, dude. Max roll Earth Necklace. Look at this absolute beauty. Max base defense, max weapon skill, regen speed, max defense, decrease negation, uh, max HP roll, max attack roll. So look at that. That's beautiful. And yeah, these are just EXs. I have a spare comma LEX as well. I believe I have another one that I pulled recently off of free pulls. So yeah, we have another Minotaur necklace for basic. I just haven't gotten to max limit breaking yet because they want to complete the arena veteran collections. So yeah. Oh uh, yeah, we just have a bunch of EXs that I had for the sake of completing collection. I'm probably going to extract these later for epic limit breaking hammers, except MK99s because I really enjoy her, except Era because I really enjoy her. And yeah, a lot of these are going to be extracted, except you know, obviously Miss Crumbs. And then here comes Earth Necklace, another one, another one. Yeah, this one isn't max roll, but it is pretty damn close. I'm going to have to work on that later. However, it's going to take a lot more chain stones because I'm going to also have to get the attack roll on it as well. And then boom boom dude yeah we got another one max roll on everything text nine percent roll but i'm perfectly happy with sacrificing one percent 
because it's it's not that big of a difference. Heal stat literally does not matter. So yeah, it, it doesn't matter what your heal stat on it is. So I have three earth necklaces, and in case you haven't noticed, I have three ice cream rings. I'm not gonna be building those two up. They're just there for flexing and collection. I have a couple of other mirror accessories that I'm holding onto right now that I'm probably gonna be building, like this one, fully limit broken and stuff. However, just not getting to them at the moment. These two are almost flu limit broken. I generally just farm these during two times mirror rifts. They're worth it because they're really nice accessories. I just don't care for them at the moment. I recently picked up this goblin chief shield, which is actually really nice. It means I don't have to build up another minotaur shield and I can just get away with it. So it's really good. I'm happy that this thing was added. Enhancement wise, yeah, I'm broke on epic limit breaking hammers. Here, go have a hearty laugh, right? I'm completely broke. So if you want to laugh at it, go ahead. It's just, ah, oh, it's so annoying. I don't grind for magic metals. I've recently just grinded for uh, evolution stones and stuff for hero crystals, because I'm completely broke on hero crystals. So there, that's where most of my coffee goes. Card wise, I have pretty much almost every card, every card that you would need. Super costume, I'm only missing two. I believe I am missing Lucy's and one more. I believe I'm missing Lucy's and one more. Uh, relics, I don't farm much. I literally don't care for Expedition. It is so, so sleepy content. I could care less. I just farm it whenever there's a two times boost. I'll do a bit maybe. And then I just don't really care about the rest. Inventory here was I have 92 option lock stones. You really just stack these over time because you mainly consume more option chain stones than option lock stones. Unless you're trying to min-max every single roll on EXs, which I don't recommend. It's not a very free-to-play thing to do. Uh, yeah, I just have a whole bunch of resources here that are just stacked up, some accelerators. These, I recommend if you're new, use them please, because they become useless really, really fast once you hit 300. And awakening stones. I have a bit, because when you get to a point at endgame, we just need hero crystals and gold. That's literally all you mostly need. Hero crystals and gold, and that solves every problem. Enough gold is easy magic metal farming. Enough hero crystals is full limit breaks. Awakening stones, you start just stacking up second over time, and this isn't even a lot, right? This is enough for, you know, the legendary awakening stones are enough for what? Three max limit broken heroes? Not even, right? Three is, yeah, it's like around 250, 60 ish, so yeah, it's not even. The base ones are really nice, though. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the inventory and items. Let's get to the characters. So I use a lot of presets mostly, so you're not going to see gears littered around on random characters, except, you know, maybe their EXs like right there. My main team that I generally use for stuff is Mono Earth. It's just far too versatile. However, endgame, you're not going to be using general content teams. You really are going to be using specialized teams. So as you can tell by my presets, each of these teams does something different. I've recently tweaked my uh, teams as to fit for future releases such as Vinette. And I've been working. Yeah, I know. I know. Medheader actually putting work into endgame content. I've been trying to change up some raid teams and stuff. We have cameras on ranged, cameras on melee. We have th three Colosseum teams. My general team is just this. It's, it's fun, it's nice, it feels clean. However, I don't really use this for anything. It's just here. Story passages, I'll probably just use whatever team, whatever pre preset I have available at the moment. So yeah, I mean, that's really the teams. And other than that, what else? Boss rush, every season I hit the minimum. Like, I could care less. I could care less. I could get way more points. Like, way more. However, I just don't care. Like, I genuinely just do not give a crap about boss rush, especially when you see uh, this silly little team. <laughs> what is bro doing up here, right? It's blatantly obvious it's a hacker. Level 51, guardian level. And uh, silly little team, silly little teams, okay? But whatever, I don't care for scoring high in boss rush. I just want my season high score rewards and then I am out. Coliseum, I used to be diamond because I just didn't care for climbing. I just did not. I just get diamond rewards and then I just hop out. However, recently, for the sake of you guys, I've just done a bit of PvP here and there. So we're currently sitting in top 20. That's generally where I sit. And I don't really care for making it more efficient or better. So yeah, I mean, I'm just going to be sitting around here. Like if I optimize my teams and stuff, did proper positioning then yeah i'd definitely be you know maybe top 10 if i'm really 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 pushing it however it's just not really fun it's boring i don't care i'm like my reward gap is like the difference between the rewards just isn't enough for me to care it's 200 gems 
like wow like maybe if i could get top one i'd care enough because it'd be a thousand gems but nope that's really really unrealistic so yeah top 10 relatively realistic goal so i don't care enough to go for top 10 it's just 200 gem increase like even from masters right it's a 100 gem increase so it's, it's a barrier in which it's whatever right if you get it you get it if you don't you don't nothing really to you know get angry about multiplayer i haven't done co-op at all because it's just so time consuming like genuinely i don't care enough to spend that much time and yes i know i probably won't be able to summon for vanette however it is what it is chapter wise uh we're currently on nightmare world 10 i haven't i think gotten to that point and season wise i have 100 percent every world except world 15 and i haven't even started world 17 so that's that's fun that's fun and yeah i'm gonna get world side story done right side stories i believe i've completed quite a few of them but i don't remember right let's see did i do two nope okay i'm not downloading data right now but yeah i haven't done a lot of it let's see meter excavation me, 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 me. boring ass content it's for the guild so i'll probably do it however yeah join my community guild if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe and if there's anything else you'd like to see like a follow-up of this video then let me know like let me know what you want to see i have I, I have i believe six raid teams i can make so a couple of them are not really you know current meta teams but they're, they're teams that do decent damage so there's that however yeah if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe like leave a comment join the community discord and i will see you all in the next one